Big ship or small ship? That is usually the simplified method cruisers use to determine whether they would like a ship or not. Even though Enchanted Princess is a big ship, there are lots of quiet and tranquil places for you to relax and enjoy, in the same way you can on smaller ships. Enchanted Princess offers an extensive variety of things to do, but still has those quiet and peaceful areas where you can just kick off your shoes and read a book. This video will cover all the activities available on board Enchanted Princess and the royal class of ship at large with Princess Cruises. Enchanted Princess has an astounding range of bars and lounges for you to enjoy. Some act as a place to meet up with newfound friends and enjoy a chat, and others act as popular entertainment venues which host entertainment in the form of singers, comedians, quizzes and game shows throughout the day and late into the night. Seeing as there is around 25 bars and lounges aboard Enchanted Princess, we're going to give you our favourites. On deck 5 in the piazza you'll find the good spirits at Sea Bar. This is a great venue to enjoy a chat with newfound friends and try out the many signature cocktails from the Rob Floyd cocktail menu. The entertainment is the making of the cocktails. You can sit back and watch the talented mixologist craft your cocktail as you listen to the sensational musicians play in the heart of the ship. Also located in the piazza but on deck 7 is Bellini's, a tiny bar which is another perfect location for a catch up and an opportunity to sample yet another bar menu on board this magnificent ship. Bellini's is one of the better bars on board for fast, personal and efficient bar service and provides one of the best views on the entire ship. When it comes to bars and lounges with a more convivial and lively atmosphere, few are better than Princess Live. This is the bar and lounge we spent most of our evenings as they laid on karaoke, fun quizzes and game shows, where the audience is involved in one form or another for much of the entertainment that is put on here. Princess Live is probably one of the most popular venues on board too, so if you've seen something in the Daily Planner or Princess Patter that takes your fancy, it would be a good idea to get here in good time so that you can ensure that you get a great seat. Acting as the second largest entertainment venue aboard Enchanted Princess is the Vista Lounge. Seating over 300 people, the Vista Lounge offers comfortable seating for quality time with friends and family. Here you'll enjoy comedians, illusionists and musicians, as well as instructor-led dance classes during the day. Another favourite bar and lounge of ours is Take 5. This is the venue which allows you to relive the roots of jazz each and every evening, where you can enjoy the ship's fantastic musicians performing classics from iconic jazz legends. This venue can also be found on Sky Princess and Discovery Princess, and you'll be glad to know that this is another venue on board where passengers can order the marvellous cocktail creations from master mixologist Rob Floyd, as well as specialty gin cocktails crafted exclusively for Take 5. These cocktails are included as part of the Princess Premier fair type with Princess Cruises. If you'd like to discover the difference between Princess Plus and Princess Premier and establish which is the best package for you, please click the banner in the top right hand corner now. The largest entertainment venue on board is the Princess Theatre, located forward on deck 6 and 7. The Princess Theatre seats close to a thousand passengers and plays host to quality West End style shows, comedians, music tribute acts, magicians and guest speakers. Regrettably, drink service has not returned to this venue since the pause and cruise operations, so if you would like to have a drink while watching the entertainment of an evening, be sure to grab one from a bar before heading in. If you enjoy going on a cruise to relax and rejuvenate, we can't recommend anything more highly than the Lotus Bar. The Lotus Bar features a state-of-the-art beauty and hair salon, a selection of stunning treatment rooms where you can indulge in treatments from LMS facials through to full body massages, but the most impressive feature is undoubtedly the Enclave. The Enclave is home to Enchanted Princess's hydrotherapy pool, featuring therapeutic air jets and cascading rain showers, as well as an extensive thermal suite, which includes three types of Roman and Turkish inspired steam rooms and saunas. You'll also discover the most incredible showers, each with their own flow of water, lighting, ambient sound and aroma. For a brief moment, you may just forget you're on a cruise ship. Passes to use the Enclave are limited and are subject to a first come, first serve basis. This facility is charged at $49 per person per day, however they do offer packages for the whole cruise, either per person or per couple. We paid $238 per couple for the four nights that we were on board. Even though it may sound pricey, it's a facility we'd continue to pay for whenever we cruise aboard a Royal Class cruise ship with Princess Cruises. It really is that good. This video is made in collaboration with ROL Cruise. We are delighted to offer our viewers 5,000 complimentary cruise miles with ROL Cruise. 
when they sign up to their official rewards program using the link below. Cruise Miles with RRL Cruise is their free to join rewards program that allows customers to save while they spend. There are lots of reasons to join, for example, access to their free monthly cruise magazines Blue Horizons, invitations to their annual cruise show, previews of cruise line launches, promotions and discounts, the chance to earn additional cruise miles for exclusive incentives and incredible competitions. For more information please see the link below. Continuing with the theme of relaxation, located forward on deck 16 you'll find the sanctuary. Prices here do vary by cruise, but usually it's around $40 per person per day, and sometimes they do offer packages which cover the whole cruise. The sanctuary includes the use of comfortable seating, use of the hot tubs, and you can order light bites and lunch to your seats. You can also indulge in some pampering up here too if you so wish. While the sanctuary is lovely and it looks great, it's always been our view that it's a bit overpriced, and it isn't something we'd be prepared to put our hands in our pockets for. That's not to say that it's not a gorgeous facility. I guess we all like to enjoy a cruise in a different way, don't we? If you love to indulge in a spot of shopping, you won't be disappointed on Enchanted Princess. There's a wide range of stores and boutiques on board, including jewellers, a souvenir store, a perfumery, a fashion store, a photo gallery, an art gallery and much more. All operate as part of the medallion class, therefore you simply scan your medallion to pay and it's all done. A great thing about Enchanted Princess and other royal class cruise ships in the Princess fleet is the amount of pools and hot tubs you have on board. Enchanted Princess has four swimming pools, three of which are of a very decent size for a cruise ship. At the forward end of deck 16 you have the retreat pool, which is the adults only pool on board and is conveniently situated close to the retreat bar. Located midship of deck 16 are the two sky pools, which are the more family orientated pools aboard Enchanted Princess and are undoubtedly the most popular pools on board. At the very aft of deck 16 you have the wake view pool, which is a stylish infinity pool which provides incredible views over the ship's wake. When it comes to the hot tubs, there are 9 small hot tubs on board. In addition to the two which you have in the sanctuary, which obviously come at an extra charge, even though other ships out there offer much larger hot tubs, the nine which you have on board in the inclusive areas does seem to be sufficient for the size of the ship. All of the ship's hot tubs can be found scattered around decks 16 and 17. If you enjoy being physical whilst on a cruise and like to keep on top of all those extra calories you'll be eating in the many fine eateries on board, then you've got plenty of options to choose from. You have a large gym and fitness centre, which features extensive range of cardio and strength training equipment, a jogging track, a basketball court, table tennis and mini golf. If you're worried about children being bored, don't be. You have a state of the art children's club located on the port side of deck 17 aft. From what we've heard, most children are quite happy spending all day here, meaning you can enjoy your day in the way you want and know that your children are having a good time and that they're in safe hands. Overall, Enchanted Princess and the royal class of ship with Princess Cruises at large is a ship we very much enjoy cruising on. Princess have refused to compete with the big wow features you have on ships of comparable sizes with other cruise lines, such as bumper cars, rock climbing walls and water parks. Princess have chose to focus on venues and facilities which give the ship a more intimate and relaxing feel, and there is plenty of deck space for you to simply unwind, read a book and take in the views. Princess Cruises are focused more on delivering the most tranquil and relaxing kind of atmosphere which you get on smaller classes of ship, particularly the smaller ships which were once operated by the company, and it's an atmosphere we enjoy. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future cruise content. If you would like to see more of Enchanted Princess, you should watch our full ship tour now. We also have a review, cabin tours, food and dining guides, and whether the Princess Plus or Premier is right for you. Lastly, don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know your thoughts. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.